Good evening, everybody. Um, this is teacher Roberto, and I'm going to record this video to explain the simple present of the verb to have and has. So, I'm going to explain the three forms of this verb in simple present, which is affirmative, the negative or negative, and the questions that are all the way to the bottom, or the interrogative. Before starting, before starting um, to explain the three forms of the verb have or has, I'm going to talk about the four uses the four uses, the four uses, or the four functions, functions that this verb has, the verb have, has in English. In the first one, we use the verb have, we use the verb have to talk about, we use the verb have to talk about possessions, to talk about relationships, to talk about illnesses. Illnesses is similar to sickness, right? Sickness, sickness, enfermedades, illnesses or sickness. Also, we use it to talk about the description of people, places, and animals. For example, here, in regards to possession, I have three I have three houses or I have a nice coma red car. I have a nice red car. That's when we want to use the the verb to have to talk about possessions. Now to use the verb have to talk about relationships, she has no brothers, she has no brothers or sisters, or I have four brothers, four brothers, four brothers. But if we want to say brothers and sisters, we have to use the word siblings. Si queremos decir yo tengo hermanos y hermanas, usamos la palabra siblings. Siblings is for, it, it means hermanos o hermanas. I have brothers and sisters. So we can say I have siblings. I have four siblings. I have four siblings, for example. I have four siblings. Indicando que tengo hermanos y hermanas. So, we can say, I have four siblings. We can say three brothers, if we want to explain more, three brothers and one sister. So, we can explain it like that. Sorry, I should have written the word. Three brothers and one sister. Now, when we want to use the simple, the, the, the verb to have, to talk about illnesses, I can say, they have a cold. They have a cold. Ellos tienen resfriado. And we use the word a to talk about illnesses. Y utilizamos el artículo a para hablar de enfermedades. She has a fever. Ella tiene fiebre. Or we can also say she has fever. Or he has fever. To talk about illnesses. To describe people. To describe people. Podemos decir. Mi hermana. My sister. Has. Long. Has has long hair. My sister has long hair and white skin. So these are the four uses of the verb to have. 
we use the verb to have use number one for possessions, the use number two for relationships, use number three to talk about illnesses, and number four to describe people, places, and animals. The church has a beautiful park, a beautiful, a beautiful space, I would say, inside to pray. The church has a beautiful space inside to pray. La iglesia tiene un espacio hermoso dentro para orar o para rezar. So we describe also the places. Now that we know the four uses of the verb to have, ahora que sabemos los cuatro usos del, ver del verbo have, possession, relationships, illnesses, description, we are going to see the structure of, uh, of it in affirmative, in negative, and in interrogative. Vamos a ver la estructura del verbo have or has en afirmativa, negativa y preguntas. Bien, en affirmative, en afirmativa, como les expliqué, like, um, as I have explained in previous lessons, the everything that is related to the simple present or to the present in English, todo lo que sea presente en inglés siempre va a cambiar en she, he, or it. Como en este caso aquí lo he agrupado I, you, we, they, el verbo se mantiene have. I have, you have, we have, they have. I have long black hair. You have beautiful eyes. My brother and I have beard and a mustache. My parents have gray hair. Aquí my parents utilizo have porque es singular, es plural, I'm sorry, is plural, my parents, to mother and sisters, um, uh, mother and father, right, is the same as parents. Now, if we move on to he, she, or it, con he, utilizamos has, she has, it has, here, we can replace the pronoun he with the, with the name Pablo. Pablo has a big nose. Pablo has a big nose. Your mom has big green eyes. Aquí vemos your. No hay que confundir your. Esto es un, esto es un adjetivo posesivo. Todo lo que es your, my, um their, his, her, son adjetivos posesivos, no son el sujeto, aquí el sujeto sería entonces mom, que es lo informal para mother, your mom has big green eyes, por eso utilizamos therefore we use has, the dog has black and brown hair, the dog has black and brown hair, here we are talking about the dog, which is one, and is the same as it. So, in summary, this is the, I call it the architecture. The architecture of the simple present of the verb have in affirmative. So, this is all you need to know in order to speak correctly and write correctly when you're using the verb have. Now, in negative, in negative, the same happens. In negative, in negatives, we use don't and doesn't. When do we use don't? We use don't with the subjects I, you, we, they. For example, I don't have, you don't have, we don't have, they don't have. I don't have blue eyes, you don't have red hair, we don't have thick eyebrows, my grandparents don't have white hair. So if we pay attention here, the verb doesn't change right here. He, in negación, he, pay attention, we use 
doesn't. With he, she, it, we use doesn't. He doesn't have. Pablo doesn't have a beard. Your friend doesn't have curly hair. The dog doesn't have a long tail. Algo que quiero resaltar. Something I want to highlight here. Que en negativa el verbo se mantiene. Have para todos los sujetos. Lo único que cambia aquí es la negación. Con I, you, we, they, I use don't. Y con she, he, it, I use doesn't. Moving on to the interrogative. In the interrogative is almost the same. Colocamos el auxiliar do at the beginning of the sentence. Podemos percatar, we can notice that in English we don't use the first question mark as in Spanish. En inglés no utilizamos el, el, el signo de preguntas al inicio. Básicamente es reemplazado por el do y el does que no tienen ningún significado en esta oración. Solamente indican que estamos haciendo la pregunta en presente. Do I have... Do you have blonde hair? ¿Tienes el cabello eh, rubio? Do they have small eyes? Do your brother and sister have long ears? Y lo mismo pasa. El verbo have se mantiene igual para todos los, ver para todos los sujetos. Lo que cambia, the thing that changes here is the, the, the use of do or does. If we want to ask questions with he, she, or it in simple present, we must use does. Does the baby have wavy hair? ¿Tiene el niño cabello ondulado? Does your boyfriend have a mustache? ¿Tiene su novio bigote? Does the dog have a big mouth? ¿Tiene el perro un hocico grande? So, we make questions using this. Do and does. We can also, when we want to ask questions, hay palabras, um, yeah, when we want to ask questions, we can also use WH questions at the beginning of the, of the, of the sentence, right? For example, the WH questions, preguntas WH. What does your kitchen have inside? What does your kitchen have inside? ¿Qué tiene su cocina dentro? What does your kitchen have inside? What does your kitchen, aquí estamos utilizando el what, que es una WH question, que es una palabra de pregunta, que does your kitchen, ¿por qué utilizamos does your kitchen? Porque kitchen, it's only one. Y es lo mismo que decir it. Y en preguntas no cambia el verbo, se mantiene have. Lo único que cambia en preguntas es el does. Another example. What... Does your what does your car have in the trunk? What does your car have in the trunk? Trunk means maletero. What does your car have in the trunk? Que tiene su carro en el maletero. It's the same thing. So, cuando hacemos preguntas con una sola cosa, your kitchen is one, your car is one, we must use does. But, what do your, what do your cars have inside, inside the trunk? What does your car have inside the trunk? What do your cars have? Have inside the trunk. 
que tienen sus carros dentro del maletero. In the trunk and inside the trunk is the same thing. Is a, is a synonym, right? In and inside. Entonces aquí podemos ver, here we can see that when we use the plural, we must use do, and when we use a singular noun, we must use does. In questions, what does your car have inside? Does she have, does she have blue, blue, blue eyes? Does she have blue eyes? ¿Tiene ella ojos azules? Does she have blue eyes? Right? So this is, um, in summary, the grammatical structure of the simple present of the verb um, to have. So I hope this video is helpful for you. Um, I have recorded it because I know that there uh, were some students who couldn't uh, be in class because of uh, many reasons. They were working or the traffic and stuff like that, but I recorded it so that you have um, to clarify any doubt that you may have in regards to the grammatical um, functioning of the simple present of the verb ha. If you have any question about this, please let me know. Let me know in the comments of this video that I'm going to be um, posting or uploading on YouTube. And see you soon in class. Take care and have a wonderful rest of the day.